Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is another monthly favorite video. Last month I did one. It was like my favorite favorite video and in March I tried so many new products and I just fell in love with them and I feel like I need to do this video because these products need a shout out from my side and i have been using them ever since i got them these are so good these are worth every single penny of yours oh. so yeah before starting if you are new here then hi i am nita i upload makeup skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss out on any of my videos so yeah without further ado let's get started First I have here this Dove body wash. This is their purely pampering coconut milk with jasmine petals body wash and this says it's sulfate free. This body wash is so amazing. I mean whenever I apply this on my body and my skin feels so soft and smooth. My skin does not scream for any moisturizer or body lotion or anything. This is so good and the smell is so amazing. It has a very mild smell. If you are sensitive to smells, then I'm sure you're gonna love this because the scent is not really strong. It has a very, very mild scent to it, which I love. And whenever I just come out of shower, I feel like... Uh, I would say flowers fresh flowers and this is so good one day I just came out of shower and one of my friends like uh, she was visiting my home and I just went out and she said you smell like fresh flowers what is it I mean this is so freaking good and I said that you know it's this body wash this is so good. You should grab it as soon as possible. The next stuff is again from Dove and this is their um, Dove dry shampoo care between washes ultra clean dry shampoo. This one right here. It has a very nice uh, like bluish kind of a packaging. I love the packaging. Now I have a very dry hair and if I wash my hair every single day, it becomes even drier. So I needed something to help me to get rid of all those excess oil and I spotted this one at Walmart and I just instantly picked it up and thank God I did. This is like a life savior for me. I mean, after uh, washing my hair, after say like two or three days, I just shake it and just spray it all over on my head and it just takes away all those excess oil it keeps my hair a nice volume and shine it does not leave any white crust or whitish residue behind this is so good and yeah i have been using it like twice a week this is so good and if you are looking for a good dry shampoo i think you should pick it up this is again so so good next up i have here this equate beauty deep cleanse uh, pore strips i have used um, the charcoal one and um, when i went to walmart i could not find the charcoal one so i just picked this one and this one is again so good i mean i have some whiteheads on my nose and whenever i use this pore strips they just plucked out everything and my nose feels so smooth and you know my makeup glides on smoothly this is so good and this is so cheap as well we're getting actually 14 strips seven face strips and seven nose strips i actually use the face strips for my nose as well this is just me so if you're looking for nice pore uh pore strips you should grab this one these are so amazing next uh stuff that i have here is this physician's formula the perfect matcha cream one melting cleansing balm this is you guys you should pick this up i mean this is such a product that will take away 
every bit of makeup from your face no matter what you have applied no matter how heavy your makeup is it will take away everything and you just need a little bit of product that's it i mean this is a bit expensive but look i've been using it so so much still i have like a lot of product left and i think i can use it for like one month or two months next uh, this is so good so if you are looking for a good makeup remover sh you should try this one another thing about this product is it does not uh, clog my pores it does not cause any breakout it does not dry my skin out and also it does not leave any oily residue behind because whenever you apply like a bomb kind of a thing it just leaves a kind of oily residue on your face it does leave some kind of oily residue but once you just take it off with a damp uh, cotton pad you are good to go this is such a nice product you should give it a try next i have here this l'oreal sponge i'm sorry it's a bit dirty because i used it today now i have been using my uh, real technique sponge like ever since i started experimenting with makeup and recently i got this one like two weeks ago and i instantly fell in love with this sponge the great thing about this sponge is it does not absorb a lot of product this is like a huge thing I mean, I need only one pump of foundation to cover all my face and neck and it just does not absorb a lot of product. I love this about this sponge and it blends everything seamlessly and this pointy tip right here, it, like, it, it is so easy to go uh, over here on your outer corner area. So this is so good and even I use this one to apply my highlighter over these areas and this works really really well. It is a multitasking sponge and if you are looking for a good drugstore sponge you should give it a shot. This is so super good. Next I have here this Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade Classic Beige. Recently I did a video using all the new uh, Wet n Wild products. You can click on the link over there to reach that video. And I tried out this foundation and I just instantly fell in love with this one. The great thing about this foundation is it gives my face a very nice glow which I love. And you know what, whenever you try a DV kind of a foundation, your face kind of feels tacky and you have to set it with powder but even after uh, setting it with a powder I can still see that my face is not that flat dry the glow is still there and I love that fact about this foundation it does not emphasize any texture it does not uh, give me any dye patches this is another great thing and talking about the lasting power it lasts on me for about six hours and after six hours i need a touch up which is not a big deal for me because i do not uh, generally wear foundation for like eight nine ten hours until or unless i'm testing out a foundation so i'm just okay with it if you have oily skin, I do not think you are going to like this foundation. But if you have normal to dry skin, you are going to love this one. This is so good. The coverage is like medium to buildable. It's not a full coverage foundation. But yeah, this is a great product. You should try this one. Next, I have here this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Voyager. The formula of these lipsticks are like out of the world I mean it's matte but it's not that flat matte it does not dry out your lips it stays for all day long and removing this one from your lips can be a little bit problematic but you know what if you use a makeup remover like this one or any oil based makeup remover or coconut oil or olive oil and rub it you can really take it off from your lips. This is such a nice uh, liquid lipstick formula. I just love this one and I'm planning to grab uh, some more shades from this line. This is such a nice 
uh, lipstick and I have been using this lipstick like every single day even I'm wearing this one right now this is a very dark burgundy color look at the applicator it's so pointy and it has a whole kind of a thing at the middle and it just gives me nice precision and if anyone I'm trying to uh, like overdraw my lips a bit it's not an issue for me with these lipsticks and I have been using this lipstick like ever since I got it such a nice lipstick such a nice formula such a nice shade you should give it a try next I have here another lipstick and this is NYX lip laundry in the shade beauty mark and this is like one nude lipstick that I have been wearing every single day. Sometimes I pair it with another uh, nude lipsticks or another nude lip liner and sometimes I just wear it alone. If you are my skin tone, this is gonna be a perfect nude shade for you. This has a nice cool brown kind of undertone which is really unique and I enjoy this lipstick a lot. The formula is so good and it lasts for a really really long time though I'm not a, a huge fan of this applicator it could be better you know so yeah I have this one and I love this freaking lipstick you should grab it ASAP again this is so good look at the shade it is a very cool toned brown color which looks Stunning on its own on top of any like pinkish nude kind of a lipstick it looks so amazing this is again such a great product next stuff that I have here is this kiss uh, lash glue this is their strip lash adhesive and this is such a great product I got it uh, last month and I've been using it since I got the formula of this product is out of the world you know because it it is tacky but not like overly tacky and it sits on my eyelids beautifully and yet it is really easy to take off because I have used some eyelash glues earlier you know they have a very hard sticky kind of a consistency and you just cannot take them off from your eyelids but with this eyelash glue it does not happen if it is like everywhere on your eyelids you can take a q-tip and you just take it off and it will come off so easily and my lashes just uh, stay there for like five six hours without giving me any headache and yeah I do not have to reapply it or anything and I'm sure I'm gonna repurchase this one once I am done with this and another thing that I love about this eyelash glue is the applicator it has a very pointy eyeliner kind of applicator so it's really easy to apply um, glue on the lash strip so yeah this is again a great product if you haven't tried this yet go and try it and one more thing buy it from Walmart because it is cheaper at Walmart because I spotted this at Walgreens and it was around five bucks but at Walmart it's around three bucks so yeah save money buy it from Walmart next I have here this Milani setting powder in 04 radiant again though it is a setting powder they uh, they have marketed it as a setting powder but this is not at all a setting powder this is like a loose highlighter you know so let me give you a quick swatch so that you can understand what I'm talking about like see can you see the glow can you see how it reflects light can you see it it's not at all a setting powder it is a loose highlighter according to me I mean see so I have been using it as a finishing powder like I apply my foundation, concealer, powder, blush, bronzer and everything and then I take a fluffier brush 
or something a stippling brush uh, like this and I just take it and I apply it as a finishing powder all over on my face and it just gives me that perfect glow I mean it just makes my skin as if I'm glowing from a within which I love this is such a nice powder and I'm glad that I purchased it I highly recommend you to get this one this is such a nice product yeah I have that next I have here a primer I know you have already guessed what primer I'm gonna talk about right this one right here this uh, wet and wild primer this is water drop primer and this is the rose version such a nice primer I and mean, whenever I apply this primer on my face my face looks so healthy, so glowy. My foundation glides on smoothly. It stays like all day long. This is such a great primer and thank God I got it. If you have not got this primer yet, I will highly suggest you to grab it. Trust me, this is such a versatile product and it does blur out my skin. But the most important thing is for me at least longevity of my makeup and it just prolongs the wear time of my makeup that's why i love this primer so so much so yeah i have that next again i have a similar product and again from white and white this one the rose three in one like primer water kind of a thing you guys probably know that i love the cucumber one so I decided to get this one this time and this is so good, so good. I mean the uh, formula of these uh, setting sprays, the formula is quite similar to the cucumber one. The only thing that is uh, quite different is the smell. This smells like fresh roses and I love the smell of roses. So this is again my favorite primer. It just makes my makeup long wearing. I use it as a second primer and I also use it as my setting spray and it just gets its job beautifully. It sets my makeup, it makes my makeup long lasting, it melts down everything and you know overall my makeup looks good with this one. And the uh, smell of rose it's not that overpowering you know I mean uh, when you uh, freshly apply it all over on your face this is quite strong but after some time say about three to four minutes uh, the smell just completely go, uh, goes away and it is not a very strong smell which I love about this product again such a nice product and you should give it a shot I discovered some great products last month and this is one of them. This uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in P.I. Purple. I love these eyeshadow palettes and I have two of them. This is the third one and I got it from Walgreens. Look at the colors. The colors are so good. I have um, like uploaded a picture on my Instagram account swatching all these shades if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me the link is given in the description bar below so please do check that out so yeah it blends beautifully i have three palettes and i would say that i love this one the most it will have a little bit of uh, fallout but this is so minimum and the gold over here it's everything for me the shimmer shadows are pretty nice as well only uh, one uh, shade one shimmer shade right here I mean this one right here you have to like dig it in you know to make it work other than that this is such a nice palette I mean it blends beautifully it just is it is not patchy the formula is so super good grab it as soon as possible next I have here a brand new bronzer that I have been using like every day and you have probably seen me using it on my videos and I'm talking about this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in 03 Suntan. It smells so good. It has a very nice chocolatey kind of a smell. 
yeah which i love and the undertone of this uh, bronzer is perfect perfect for me this is great for uh contouring this is great for bronzing this is not too warm not too cool something in between and this works beautiful and the formula is so smooth and buttery you guys and this is such a nice product look this creates the most beautiful and natural shadow ever and the undertone is just perfect look at this isn't it gorgeous and there is something about the formula it is not like too matte not like too glowing of course it does not have any like shimmer particles or glitter particles in it but still it is not super duper matte it just melts uh, into my skin and it looks like skin and it just creates a very natural shadow I just love this bronzer. You should grab this one if you haven't already. This is such a nice product. We are making a progress because I have like a two or three products to share with you. And next, I really want to talk about this eyeliner from Wet and Wild. I tried their H201. Hate it. I literally hate it. And I was a bit skeptical about this eyeliner as well. And thank God I picked it up. The applicator is like so nice, a felt tip applicator. This is not like too stiff, not like uh, too jiggly. This is just perfect. And every time I use this eyeliner, I get a perfect wing. I love the applicator, I love the formula. And it uh, lasts on my eyes for 6 to 7 hours, which is again a great thing. And this is for like two or three dollars such a nice product and the pigmentation is so good let me give you a swatch so that you can understand whatever i'm talking look at this the pigmentation is so super good it is a straight black eyeliner you know sometimes you buy an eyeliner and it is not as rich as black as you wanted it to be but with this eyeliner the pigmentation is so good so uh, i'm sure i'll be buying this stuff over and over again because this is look at this it's a very tiny little bottle and the way i use it i think i'm gonna finish it in like two weeks and then i'm sure i have to get another one this is such a nice product next i have two brushes from wet and wild this one is the crease brush and this is the stippling brush. Both of these brushes are so good and thank God I picked them up. This um, stippling brush, it is like everything. Sometimes I use it to like distribute uh, everything evenly on my face. Like after applying my foundation, my uh, concealer, powder, I just do this kind of uh, motion to distribute the product evenly and it just does its job beautifully i use it for my bronzer i use it for my blush and it just makes my job easier and it is really easy to hold you you have a nice grip over there like this tilted kind of a thing like this and you just have a nice amount of control with this brush this is such a good brush and you should try it one and with this brush as well it's a bit dirty i do not like the white color though because it gets dirty you know so easily so yeah it also has this kind of slanted tip and when i hold it like this it just makes my job easier and i have a nice grip this brush is so good for blending out your eyeshadow, for applying eyeshadow on your crease, on your outer area, on your inner corners. This is such a versatile product. And if you're looking for a good multitasking eyeshadow brush, you should grab this one. Next, I have here this Adel 3D Fox Mink Lashes. This is in this style 854. 
these lashes are so good they are so wispy and they just make my eyes look bigger and wider and open and every good thing and they are so wispy so sometimes uh, if when you apply some dramatic lashes they just cover your entire eyelids and like nobody can see your eyeshadow but with these lashes it does not happen people will notice your lashes people will notice your eyeshadow and everything these are so good so yeah i have that finally i have here an amazing product i am so into it and i'm talking about this milani eye chopper and this is in the shade 01 i mean i have used it in one of my videos makeup tutorials um click on the link over there to watch that video and look at this look at the gorgeousness right here how stunning it is it just reflects light beautifully and it just takes your eye makeup to another level and i love this color though this has some purple, pink and golden uh, shimmer particles in it and it just reflects light beautifully. I mean, if you want a full glam up look, grab this one and I'm not even kidding you. I have like, see, five of them. Then this was the uh, first one I purchased and then I went and I just dropped one. I am obsessed uh, with this, you know. There are like seven shades in this collection. Three are from their festive collection and four are from their regular line. And I have literally five of them, see. And I'm planning to do a full swatch and review kind of a video uh, pretty soon. Please stay tuned because I'm planning to grab two more that will complete my collection, you know. But these two are not available at walmart and i do not want to pay shipping charges just for two liquid eyeshadows that cheap i am so yeah i have that Whew, finally the video ends here these are the products that i have been loving i have been using ever since i got them and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have tried any of these products leave a comment down below and share your experience with me so yeah see you soon in my next video and if you're not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out so yeah see you soon in my next video till then bye and take care Mwah.